Welcome back to Noni's Crafty Kids. This is part two of our tutorial on the Jolly Roger bracelet and charm. Now in the first part of the tutorial, we placed all of our rubber bands. Because we're talking about doing the bracelet, instead of starting all the way down here, where we normally start a rainbow loom project, we moved up here to number six from the end to begin the Jolly Roger skull. Now, if you're only making a charm, you can start down here, where it seems like the natural thing to do. But if you're going to make a bracelet, it has to be made up here on this end because the rest of the loom will be used to make the first part of our bracelet. Okay. So this is the layout of all the rubber bands that we did in part one. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. So here is the ceremonial turning of the loom. Okay, and we start at the bottom on the right hand side. We're going to move the black double bands for the mouth. Let's see if I can get that to focus a little better. We're going to move these black bands from this peg to the center. But we need to get down inside this odd single band right here. Right? We're also going inside our triangle. So grabbing those, that double black rubber band. Hold down the single white and bring this very gently out. Now, I've learned the trick. Move your rubber bands up to the thicker part that I call the neck of the hook. And very gently, use your fingers, pull it out. All right. Now you can loop those over the center peg, like that. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Get inside this band, hold it down, grab these black rubber bands, pull that back, slide your hook into the band up to its neck. Open it very gently around. You can also pull back on that triangle with your fingers. Ease this out. There. If you should break a rubber band while doing this design, do not despair, because as you recall, nearly all of these are made up of double rubber bands. So if one of the, of the set breaks, the other one can hold. So courage, it's not all lost if one should break. This is a difficult pattern, but it is not an impossible pattern. Trust me, if Noni can do it, anybody can do it. Okay, we just pulled the bands for the mouth together. Next, we're going to come up here and do the bands that form the eyes. On these two, we don't go into this single band. Just go in from the outside. It's going to be easier if I move my hook like this. 
this and bring it to the center band. Go over to the left side, grab it, bring it to the center band. Now, for these two, we go inside. So we go inside, grab that double black rubber band, put it over the top. Now we're getting really heavy pile of rubber bands. So I'm going to come in here with my tool, press them down. Because we still have more bands to loop, we have to do these two black ones over here. Come inside that white single band, grab the double blacks around and over the top. There we are. Now, we come down here. Under the eyes are the cheekbones. And the cheekbones come from the center out. That's an important difference on both the mouth and the eyes. We came from the outside to the center. On the cheekbones, we go from the center out. So remember that we have a triple cap band here. So we're going to reach underneath this cap band and get the first set of these. And it looks like this is the first set on the left. Push the cap bands back. It helps to come over to the side. Yeah, like that. And so you can see exactly what you're grabbing. Now I'm seeing this over the top of it. And there my cap band came right off. No problem. Cap band can go right back on. There. I still have my double bands. Bring them over and on. Now I have to repeat that. Come down inside the cap band. Grab the double white. There I only have one. I want to get both. There we go. Pull that up here. And over to the right. There. Now this all forms the center part of the face, the eyes, the cheekbones, and the mouth. So now we're ready to go up the left side of the face. Come down here. We have a cap band and we have this triangle. And right now it looks like that cap band's underneath the triangle. We want to get the top set so we want to get them so they're not all mixed up. Push this down. And then it looks like this one is on top. So we reach in, grab it here, try not to get in shadow, and that's not really to myself as I do my looping. When you're first doing this pattern, it can help to put your cap bands in a different color. That way you'll know what not to grab 
as you're going through here because everything is white it makes it more confusing that one away and we have it yeah. put that up onto the heavy part of your hook and bring it over Right now we're going to do it for these bands. There's a good shot. These are the bands that we want. So down under the triangle, under the cap bands, come over to the side and grab that. Bring it up through the center. And you see how I'm pushing my hook before I start working the rubber band out. Okay, and we come, and it's over the pick. There we are. We have the right side and the left side. We have nice little teardrops. Here's the cap band, and there's our triangle. Everything decent and in order, as it should be. All right, time to work up the left side. We're going to get this band. And now you understand why we push them all down. Try to keep them in order. So down, and I'm watching from the side here, not just from the top, because I can see the bands that I want. When I get that right up to the top, I'll slide it up on my hook, because it takes quite a bit of force to draw that through all of those other rubber bands by pulling it up onto the heavy part of your hook. You run less chance of breaking the hook. And again, you can you use your hand to loosen those? And home free. And you see this very tight band right here. That's your triple um, triangle, gray and white. So we go down through that to the very bottom, grab those bands, bring it up to the top, slide your hook in to a safe place, work it out from around the peg, Wiggle it back and forth. Use your thumb if you need to, to loosen some of those. And there we go. This is not a design you want to do when you're in a hurry. And you wouldn't want to do it when you are upset with somebody or angry. You want to just be able to take your time. Be easy with the rope bands. Give them gentle tugs. And there you go. And we're almost done with this side. We're ready to bring this one in onto the center pack. This one does not have so many rubber bands on it. And it comes out like butter. There you go. There's one side, all with nice teardrops. You can come here and look. Make sure everything is caught. No rubber bands left behind. All right, we've done the bottom on the chin. His jaw is formed. So now we need to come get these two right there. Come in. Okay, grab them, draw them up slowly, tilt your hook, use the strong part of the hook, and there you go, onto the pack. 
if you want to fast forward at this point. But we only have four pegs to go. And then we start the center. So you may just want to stay with us. Okay, do I have two? I think I only have one there. So let's go back. Reach in again. There we go. Slide it up onto the hook. Gently wiggle back and forth. And onto the forward peg. This one. Nice and easy. Bring it up. Around. Wiggle it gently. And here we are. Ready to do the top one. From the right. To the center. There you go. Give yourself a big pat on the back. Because you've done two thirds of the looping. And everything is going very well. Now, here's where we have an advantage. We can tell the rubber bands we need to get because we have a black and a white. That helps immensely. So reach down in all of those very, very tight bands. Grab those two. Draw them out here. It is very important. Slide your hook to its stronger point. Work that around. There you go. There you have that white band, which is very obvious on top of these black ones. Now that will form the teeth of the skin skeleton of the skull's jaw. So here we are in this one. And if we can look all the way in there, once again, we have a black and a white. That's what we need to grab. Push them down so they're well separated and there's no problem grabbing them. So we reach down through the middle of all those rubber bands and watch from the side. Bring your hook in, grab those two. Gently raise them up and slide your hook up to the neck, to the strong part. Work it around and off the peg. This one doesn't want to come off the peg. Gently. Hold that down with my thumb, like this side, and there. Now that's very tight. I'm just going to gently wiggle it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until I get some slack. I can use my finger, my thumb, pull some of those back. And there we go. It's, you can definitely feel the release of tension on the rubber bands when it finally comes loose and it slides away from the other bands. Okay. And it's on. All right. Those were two of the hardest ones. We're making good progress. Now, we have two white bands right down here. That's what we're going for. So we come in, and you see we have a cap band here that's already been pulled aside for us. So we come straight down, and we go. This time, you can see the black band from the previous peg. Get underneath that and grab the two white ones. Up to the top, slide your hook in, around the peg, and no problem. Okay, one more again. 
push that down because you don't want it popping off while you're working in next to the last bands. Again, you've got two white bands. So you go down through the middle, watch from the side, you grab two white bands. Now that just doesn't want to come out. And what I've done is it's very easy to get your hook caught in some of those black bands. So push your the open side of your hook right against the plastic channel of this peg until you're at the very bottom. Then watching from the side, come in and grab the bottom two white ones and come up again with your hook sliding right against the plastic. That protects your hook from being caught on any of the wrong bands. Okay, bring this on around. Hold that with my thumb. I want to get it off. Oh, lovely shot of the back of my hand. Okay, there we go. It's off the peg and gently releases the tension. And onto the forward peg. And there we have it. All of your looping is done. At this point, I want to go back and check, make sure I haven't missed any rubber bands. Nothing's lying down here loose. I see some slack here, but that's okay. That's part of the jaw and that's often loose, but it is caught up. All right.